Hey friends, welcome to the video. My name is Amanda and I am a second year vet student. I can officially say that now. We got our marks back from first year and I passed everything. I had to film this intro four times because I kept saying first year vet student, but we're on to second year. So with that being said, now that I'm moving into my second year of vet school, I thought I would sit down and film a video talking about some of the things that I learned in my first year of vet school that I wish I would have known before I started. I thought this video would also be super helpful for anyone going into vet school. These are all things that I feel like would have made my life so much easier had I known them before I started. So you're welcome. I'm telling you now and now you don't have to go through the struggle that I went through. So I started writing down things that I learned in my first year and I ended up with a list of like 20 things. Things. And if I talked about the 20 things that I learned in vet school, this video would be five years long. So I picked some of the most important ones. But with that being said, if you guys want to see a part two to this video and hear about some of the other things I learned in my first year of vet school, please feel free to give this video a thumbs up or comment down below on any questions that you guys might have about vet school in general or about the application process. And as always, if you guys like this video and want to see more videos about my vet school journey, please feel free to subscribe. It means a ton to me. Okay, now that that self promo is over, I will jump right into the things that I learned in my first year of vet school. Okay, so my first thing that I learned was one thing that has stuck with me all throughout the year. And for me, it was the biggest adjustment jumping from undergrad to first year of vet school. And that is to get out of the competitive mindset that you were in applying to vet school. If you are going through the application process or have looked into it, I'm sure you're aware getting into vet school itself is super competitive. And I found in undergrad, I was constantly looking around and comparing myself to my other classmates. Because realistically, when you look around, you are looking at your competition trying to get into vet school. However, once you get accepted and once you walk through the doors of vet school on your very first day, your classmates are no longer your competition. And for me, this shift in mindset was the most relieving thing ever because it takes so much stress off of yourself because looking around at your classmates, they aren't your competition anymore. They're your classmates. They're your support system. As hard as it can be, don't compare yourself to your classmates because everyone is going to study differently. Everyone is going to have different strengths and weaknesses but at the end of the day you are all in vet school together you're all there to help each other out at the end of the day you're all going to be doctors and that is the most important thing to remember now the next thing i'm going to talk about kind of ties into the competitiveness that you felt in undergrad and the very first week the very first day of vet school they talk to you about something called imposter syndrome so the definition of imposter syndrome is a psychological pattern in which one doubts one's accomplishments and has a persisted internalized fear of being exposed as a fraud. So basically imposter syndrome is where you feel like you don't belong in vet school and that you don't deserve your spot. The first week of school, they tell you that everyone is going to experience this, it's normal. And in my head, I was like, oh, that's okay, whatever, sure. I don't think I'm gonna feel it. Surprise, I felt it. I was shocked with how often I felt this imposter syndrome because OVC in general does a very good job of being welcoming and trying to nail it into your head that you deserve to be here, that you earn that spot and that no one made a mistake accepting you into vet school. But no matter how hard they try and no matter how supportive your classmates and professors are, you are always going to have doubts and I had many, many doubts. There would be random times where we would be doing labs and I would look around and people were understanding the concepts and I was just so lost and it is so easy to just think wow maybe they did make a mistake on my acceptance like maybe they meant another amanda thompson and not me and i shouldn't be here right now imposter syndrome is a real thing i experienced it more often than i would care to admit but i think the most important thing about imposter syndrome is recognizing that it is a real feeling that you will probably experience it more than once in your veterinary career and the most important thing about that is recognizing that it's okay to feel that way but it is not true. Whenever I would start to doubt my accomplishments or doubt that I deserve to be in vet school, I just reminded myself that if I was feeling that way, I guarantee you a lot of my other classmates were also feeling that way at some point in first year. It is not something that only you are feeling and once you normalize it and once you think about it as something that everyone experiences while they go through vet school, it makes it not as scary. When I would start 
to have the doubts and when I would start to think that my acceptance was a mistake, I would always go back and I would read my acceptance email and I would think about how excited I was the day that I got accepted into vet school. For me, reliving those feelings, it almost brought that sense of accomplishment back and it made me realize that as much as I'm doubting in that moment that I deserve to be here, I know deep down that I worked my butt off to get to where I am today and that those doubts and those fears of being accepted by accident were just because I was stressed in that moment. Every single person who gets accepted to vet school deserves to be there and while imposter syndrome is a real thing, it is something that we should recognize as not being true in the slightest. But if you are feeling it, remember that it is normal and try and do something that brings you back to the feeling of when you first got accepted to vet school. Okay, so now that we're done talking about the competitiveness and the feelings of doubt in vet school, let's talk about something that I feel like is so important for your mental health going through your first year of vet school. Vet school can be a very overwhelming experience, especially in first year because in our program specifically, we're in class from 8.30 to 5.30 almost every day. And a lot of the times you're at school earlier or later because of vet school related activities. So for me, it was so important to find extracurriculars that had literally nothing to do with vet school. I found very easily that vet school was kind of taking over my life and literally every aspect of my life revolved around vet school. I felt like my stresses from vet school were turning into my life stresses and that made it so easy for me to just be constantly in this stressed state. So for me personally, I found it super helpful to try and branch out and do some extracurriculars or do something that literally had absolutely nothing to do with vet school. I joined the hockey team, which was a part of vet school, but I mean, trying to learn how to skate and play hockey is very different from what we learn in class in vet school. So for me, I found this to be a great stress reliever. The other thing that I started was I took part in the College Royal Dog Show that was held by the University of Guelph. And once a week, I would meet up with the dog that I was partnered with and we would train together so that we could compete at a show at the end of the year. For me, this was awesome to just get away from the vet school environment, to be with people that you're not with every single day and to just not think about vet school at all. As much as I love vet school and as much as I love the process and the program, it's nice to just be able to step away and do things that are not involved in vet school at all. It is really important to have a work-life balance and being in vet school is essentially your job. So you need to be able to balance that with everyday life. Otherwise, you are literally going to go crazy. Now that we're on the topic of stress relief, unfortunately, I have to break it to you, but vet school is stress. It is a very weird sensation because I have never been more stressed and less stressed at the exact same time, but first year somehow did that to me. These stresses are very different in vet school compared to undergrad because in undergrad I constantly felt the stress of applying to vet school and getting accepted, whereas in vet school you are thrown a lot more content in a shorter amount of time, but realistically there's no pressure on you to get into a program. There's no pressure for you to get 99%. You are learning for your future and you're studying for your patients instead of studying to get accepted into a program. That stress is kind of taken off but by the same token vet school in general is just stressful because it's a professional program you're training to be a doctor that can be stressful so now that I've scared you and told you vet school is very stressful the most important thing that I got out of my first year of vet school was having a support system because vet school can be stressful and there are times where you're going to want to cry, disclaimer, I cried a bit. For me, having people around me that would pick me up and that would remind me why I loved this profession to begin with was so important. OVC is awesome because they match you with a practice group right before you start vet school. And these are the people that you do your labs with, that you do a lot of your practicals with. And for me, my practice group ended up being my closest group of friends. This part is gonna get cheesy, but I have always kind of been a person who has had a very small and close-knit friend group. In high school, I would eat lunch in the library every day by myself. In undergrad, I had one friend that I really stuck with all through undergrad. And I kind of expected it to be like that in vet school too, where I just 
did my own thing and I kept to myself. And I am so glad that that did not happen. Not only is every single person in my class so supportive and so willing to help, but I feel like I got so lucky with the practice group that I did. These people have been my biggest support system all throughout vet school and I never knew how much I would rely on these people to get me through a program that is way harder than I ever thought. It's very weird to say, but unless you're in vet school, there are some things that you just will never understand about the stresses of it, about what it's like to go through it. So having people in the program that you can count on, that you can rely on, is the biggest lifesaver because these people get it. They're going through the exact same thing as you. They're feeling the imposter syndrome. They're feeling the stresses that you're feeling. And knowing that you have those people to rely on and to be there to support you and that you'll be there to support them is the absolute best thing and most important thing that I got out of my first year of vet school. I can honestly say that my core group of friends in vet school will be friends for life. I honestly could not have gotten through my first year of vet school without them and even if I did get through it, it would not have been as fun because these people have honestly become some of the closest people in my life and I would not want to go through the craziness of vet school without them. So if I can give you any piece of advice about your first year of vet school is try and reach out and make friends even if that thought scares you because realistically the first week of school everybody is in the same boat. Everyone is feeling awkward. Everyone is trying to meet new people. No one knows each other so step out of your comfort zone and meet those people because they will honestly become some of the best people in your life. Okay and the last thing that I want to talk about is something that is really a mindset you need to carry with you as you go through your first year of the program and on to the next three years and that is to enjoy the experience. I know I just told you that vet school is stressful and it is but as weird as it sounds try and enjoy that stress. These four years of your life are going to shape who you are as a person and are going to shape who you are as a vet and it is so important to go through the program and try and look at the bright side and to try and find things that you enjoy every single day. This is something that you are going to be doing for the rest of your life. For me it was always so important to try and pick something once a day that I loved. Even if we sat in lecture all day and we had a midterm the next day, it was always important for me to remind myself that this is a profession I chose and although learning about histology might not be my favorite thing in the world, this is leading to me being able to save animals and to connect with people and that is the coolest thing in the world. Vet school is going to consist of a lot of ups and downs but it is so important to enjoy the downs as much as you enjoy the ups. That was weird, I should have said that differently. Basically, you're gonna have a lot of success and you're gonna have a lot of failure. But I think the most important thing that I can tell you is to not stress about the failure too much because failure in vet school is just a chance for you to learn and just a chance for you to grow. Now that I think about it, there really is no such thing as failure in vet school. And I think in undergrad, I thought about failure a lot. But now that I've gotten into vet school, my perspective on that has really changed. I don't see failure failure as failure anymore. I see failure or mistakes as ways to grow as a vet and ways to become better at what I want to do in the future. So at the end of the day, enjoy the program. My first year absolutely flew by and I know these next three years are going to go by just as fast or even quicker. And honestly, if I could stay in vet school forever, I would like to because it's pretty great. So don't let the stress consume you. Try and find one bright spot even on the worst days because at the end of the day, you are lucky enough to get to study something that you love. That was the biggest reminder for me was that yes, there may be days where I am stressed and I want to cry and <laughs> nothing seems to be going right, but this is something that I have wanted since I was six years old and I feel so lucky that there are days where I am stressed and I want to cry and nothing is going right because it is just one step closer to doing a job that I love every single day. Now with that being said, whoa, that was a loud clap. So with that being said, Said, those are some of the things that I learned in first year that I wish I would have known before I started on my first day. Like I said before, I have so many more things that I could talk about that I learned in my first year of vet school. So if you would like to see a part two to this video, don't forget to like or comment down below and let me know. And as always, if you guys have any questions about vet school or the application process, feel free to ask those questions down below and I will do my best to answer you. So I'll leave you with that and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.